let's see now. Today is a very quick and brief tutorial. But I'm going to show you how to get this. And I didn't use any script or anything for it. It's really, really super easy. And besides, I really just wanted to show it off because I spent like 30 minutes drawing it. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. Let me open up Psy. Boop boop. Now, I've already got it set up to open. If you're going to draw your own, what I typically do is I make a canvas that is twice as big as the RPG Maker canvas. It gives me plenty of room to draw and allows me to get in more detail than if I were just drawing on that little itty bitty piddly screen. So I set it to 1088 and then for height, 832. Hit OK. And let's see. I'm just going to open up something I've already got done. Doot. Doot doot. Oh wait, no, it wasn't here. And what's nice is, so I will save in Photoshop files as well. And I've just been drawing it more because it's more responsive to pin pressure. And I don't have to fight it as much as Photoshop. Now, with this, you can get a good scale of how big you want your sprite to be. If you draw, you can draw it a little bigger, you can draw it a little smaller. You can get it to whatever size you need. And then when you're done, you can select it. Control T. Well, maybe not. Control T. <sighs> Wait, is this sort of... What? What is this? So what is this? I'm, conf I'm confused. I'm confused. Hmm. I'm very confused. <sighs> there was a way you could select the whole thing. Anyhow, though. When you're done drawing it in here, it can then be opened up in Photoshop. And this is just a preview for later. Boop. Loading, loading, let's see. And then control T. And in Photoshop you can just move the whole setup, I think. Yeah, you can move the whole thing as you need it to. And then if you haven't really done anything, control Z and put it back. And like in Psy, or you know, vice versa, it has the same shortcut where you can hold shift and drag and it will remain in proportion to itself. So you can make it as small or as big as you need it to be. You see something here. Yeah, it doesn't have the same thing inside where you can hold control and the arrow keys to move it back and forth. Sad face. But anyway, yeah. Once you're finished with the art, um, the whole drawing thing can be for another day. But once you do that, once you finish getting it sized up as you need it to be, you save it, and then you shrink it down. And I still prefer to shrink it down in RP <laughs> shrink it down in Photoshop. Yes, I shrink it in RPG Maker. I shrink it in Photoshop, and I go to Image Size, and I go to Bicubic Sharper because that's like, as it says it's best for reductions. Don't do preserve hard edges unless you want it to look like. Uh, Unless you want it to look like pixel art. <laughs> it works if you're going for that style, but if you want it to have smooth edges, nah, that doesn't work either. I tried it, it does not. But like cubic sharper. And then you have you keep constraint proportions on, that way when you tell it to go down to 
544, it'll automatically just die to what it needs to be, 416. Hit OK, and then here we have the size image we need. And then you save it. Well, let's save that back. Then go forward, Control Shift S to save it as, and then save your image as a PNG file. That way it will preserve the transparency, like it does when you make a sprite, or edit a sprite, depending on what you guys do. And since I've already got these files saved, I'm not going to bother. Then we're going to imp we're going to import them as a picture. And I've already got her imported, as well as my ghosty goo. Now then, to get the image to show up is really, really easy. It's basically just show picture, which, hang on, show picture is, ah, here it is, show picture and picture and weather, right here. And you're going to set it to number one. For each different character you have, you have to set them as a different number. Or depending on what you're doing with the character, each one gets a different number for their different expressions. And I think you can have up to 100 pictures. So if you don't have too many characters, it's not a bad route to go. Anyway, then you select the face, right here. Keep everything set as it is. Hit OK. Then you do your little text as you need it to be. And then tell it to erase the picture. And it's very important to tell it to erase the proper picture. So, for example, if since it is the first one, you erase the first one. Beep. And that's basically just how you do that. Uh, this is for anyone that just doesn't want to use the itty bitty little face set area things. And I can understand that. So there's this route if you need to. And you just don't want to use a script for it. Again, you are limited to 100 pictures. So if you have any CGI uh, cutscene pictures in there too, be careful with that because you could end up with far too many faces that you may not need. It's all about knowing what expressions your character is going to do the most. Anyhow, uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has been helpful. TTFN everybody and see you later.